Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So a lot of you guys liked the first video I did on this topic. This will be just like the last time where I introduced different PC game retailers. All of the links to the different sites will be in the description. And there will also be a little extra segment for one of the game retailers at the end of this video so stick around for that. But without further ado, let's start with... This was the most requested site out of all of the ones you guys recommended to me on the last video. And it's a beast. Because you can not only get some of the biggest gaming bundles I have ever seen on any site, but also software and plugins for everything. And also books about gaming, mostly. Anyway, I wonder what a book that is called ComTIAA Plus Practice. Practice test call 1 220 1101 and call 2 1102 is about <clears throat> getting sidetracked now. So, how does this site work and is it even worth it? So, a big part of this site is its monthly subscription games where you pay 12 bucks to get a random mix of games every single month that you own and can play forever. Plus, you can also get some bonus discounts percentage if you care about that. So, that is on its own a pretty cool concept, similar to PlayStation's monthly subscription, but better. And that's only one part of this website. The other big part of this platform is its bundles, hence the name. So the way that these bundles work is every two weeks or so a different set of bundles tied to a specific game genre like LEGO, sports games, board games, etc. gets released with a set number of games in each bundle. You, yes you, can decide how many and which games that you want to buy from that bundle. The site even helps you if you have a specific amount of money to spend. So let's say you have $5 in your pocket. With these 5 bucks, you go to the price filter and at the bottom you just put in your 5 bucks and then the site filters the games in the bundle so that it matches your input price of 5 dollars. I really hope that wasn't too complicated. And if you're not into game bundles or monthly subscriptions then you can just use the site like any other game retailer to find a specific game that you want to buy either through the use of their game library or their game filter selection. So there's no reason to not give Humble Bundle Store a chance or even just a look if you're interested in this gaming retailer. And as a little side bonus you can also via this game retailer give support to charity check out humble games which is another gaming retail that is that specifically supports indie developers and their games check out their blogs and so much more you can even apply for a job if that's you what you want so by all means give this site some support or better just recommend it to another person ideally faster than the time it took me to explain everything this site has to offer and thanks to so so see my oh my god and thanks to so see mass for recommending this site to me you are awesome now for the next gaming retailer These kinds of gaming retailers are a bit complicated to talk about because they kind of all follow the same principle of having a pretty limited game library with unique games that are only sold or downloadable from that specific site. Take a game like Hearthstone, a game that if you don't know of Blizzard's Battle.net becomes a game that you won't be able to play unless you download it from Battle.net. This principle is the same for all of the major first party services like Origin, Ubisoft, Uplay and so on. Sure they are different from one another, while Blizzard have their own gaming site or whatever you wanna call Battle.net, a retailer like Ubisoft have their games available for purchase on Steam, but only with a Ubisoft account that is tied to Ubisoft's Uplay. And then there's also the Microsoft Store, but I won't lie to you, you are better of purchasing 
and Xbox if you want to play those Xbox exclusive games. I know that this is a pretty controversial opinion and I do know that my that the Microsoft Store has begun to release some Xbox ex exclusive games onto their site, but I still don't think that the site has enough games to make it worth your time or money for that matter. And if you are totally sold on this site, I would instead recommend buying the Xbox Game Pass, which I talked about in my first video, link will be in the description. But if you like or use the Microsoft Store, then that's it's totally fine. Just know that you won't ever see me buying anything from this site other than Minecraft. And the same goes for the rest of the sites in this category. But if you like or use all of them, then by all means, keep using them. And don't totally destroy me down in the comments, okay? Now we have... First of all, yes, this is a real site. Secondly, it's awesome. This site somehow manages to take pretty much all of Steam's discounts on games and makes them even cheaper. Just here it is, Outlast 2 on Steam is 29 euros or about 32 dollars. Outlast 2 on Green Man Gaming is 4 euros or about 4.5 dollars. Wait a second. Yes, everyone, this is Future Editing in Zobinso, and I just found out while editing this video that none of the examples that I have recorded for this video are actually on sale now during this, well, editing. So you're gonna have to stick with these other comparisons that I have of Green Man Gaming having better discounts than Steam. So I'm sorry for that, but. I'm going to be saying the wrong names because they aren't on sale anymore, but just know that when I recorded this, they were on sale for the prices that I'm gonna that I am going to be saying in the videos. And if you think that this is just a one-time lucky offer, then you are mistaken. Final Fantasy VII Remake integrate 80 euros on Steam, 40 euros on Green Man Gaming. Near Automata 40 euros on Steam, the same game 16 euros on Green Man Gaming. So there is a ton of money to save by buying Steam keys from Green Man Gaming. And you might be hearing all of this and start to think, what's the catch? But the thing is, there is no catch. You can just go to whatever game you wanna buy, put it in your card, pay for it and then BOOM! You got your game key ready to download on Steam. And if you thought that that was all, then just wait, there is more. Because this site does a concept better than Steam has ever and probably will ever do. It gives the XP point system a meaning other than buying cosmetics for your logo. That's right, with XP from Green Man Gaming you can, depending on your tier, get extra XP discounts on new and games that are on sale, get exclusive offers specific to your tier, get free games and vouchers, get store credit and key giveaways and you can unlock the ability to invite your squad. And I don't know what that is supposed to mean, but you get the ability. And if that wasn't enough, you can also join the Discord and read the blog if you're interested in that. You can also buy PC, Mac and console games. There is only one major con with this site and that is that there really isn't a community other than the Discord and blogs and I guess the comments about the games. But other than that I can't find any real cons other than the fact that you have to redeem your game based on the site that it came from but nothing else. So if I didn't include something about this site, just leave a comment about it down below. And now onto the extra segment of this video. For this next part, I thought that it would be funny to check if a specific PlayStation subscription is more worth your money. So I actually had to do a bit of math, but it wasn't that much, so don't, don't click off the video. Let's start with the PlayStation Store and its three different subscriptions. The cheapest one being Essentials, which is the Essentials. This includes monthly free games, online play and exclusive discounts. The next one is Extra, which includes everything from the Essentials pack along with 
a gaming catalog and Ubisoft Classics. And then some other mostly uh, unimportant stuff. And then there is Premium, which have everything from the last two subscriptions, along with a classic catalog, free trials of games that haven't been released yet, and cloud streaming. So the price for Essentials for 12 months is $76. 12 months for Extra is $138, a difference of $62. 12 months for Premium is $165, a difference of $89 fuel based of the Essentials. So to keep things short, if you just want some free monthly games and the ability to play multiplayer, then you should get the Essentials subscription. If you want everything from the Essentials pack and a gaming catalog and a selection of Ubisoft classics, then you should get the extra subscription. And if you want everything from the two other packs plus a classics catalog, free games and trials and cloud streaming, then you should buy the premium pack. Because money-wise, it goes in chronological order. So choosing a PlayStation or Xbox subscriptions depends more on your needs rather than the price of each subscription. And on that note, I want to say thank you for watching all the way to the end. You are awesome. And if you think that I missed anything in this video, then consider leaving a comment down below. It really helps. And if you would consider leaving a like on this video or giving my channel a subscribe, you would make my day. And until we meet again, bye bye.